Right. The number of times I've started and stopped this is I'm overthinking it. So I'm just going to tell the story and I'm kind of going to tell it quickly because I do have videos to put in here. I will have like little uh, comments that I will probably put in here. My name is Mariana. I am an energy reader and energy reader is an evidential medium, a psychic, an animal communicator and a nonverbal communicator. And I did trademark the name energy reader, which was another problem on TikTok. So how did I get to TikTok? Why did I get to TikTok? And how long did I spend there? Initially, I got to TikTok because I was hosting a free medium circle with some of the people that I had, quote, kind of started with in, in, the, in the biz, niche, whatever you want to call it. And one of those people in there had started a TikTok. And so she kept coming in to our circles and she's like now i have 10,000 followers now i have 12,000 followers and she talked about it because we would have like a little show and tell what's going on blah, blah blah and then we would also read each other we would practice certain things that sort of thing and so at some point everyone in the circle was like you know maybe it's time for us to start a tiktok and so i think like four of us, four or five of us did but when i did i you can tell that i'm boisterous i'm outgoing i'm gregarious i I'm loud <laughs> and I have a lot of personality, right? And most of the time people either, there's not a lot of in between. People love me or they don't, right? So I get to TikTok, I make it, I make an account. Um, we talk about it in the circle from time to time. And I just, you know, dove in. Uh, this person had said, you know, make like four videos a day. And then you just post them periodically. It feeds the algorithm, it makes people happy. Great, that's what I did. Um, it was time consuming. It took a little bit of getting used to when you're talking to your own face into a camera. That takes a little bit of getting used to. One of the other things that took a little bit of getting used to is that I actually looked better on TikTok than I feel like I do in real life. And I have gotten lights and I've gotten different cameras and, and I'm standing in my kitchen and this is the best light on Zoom recording this because it's just kind of the best combo and I do touch up my appearance because who wants to look at you know I don't know front facing cameras on iPhones are um, harsh <laughs> so I do touch up my appearance a little bit and I'm used to having done this on TikTok where TikTok makes you look um, better than you are and I think that's part of the appeal and part of the addiction all right so let's go back so I started in there, I get to TikTok, and there were these two creators, Hannah and Matt. Matt has his whole yellow pages of psychics, as if he's the first one who ever thought of that. He's not. There's been directories of psychics since psychics have started. That's neither here nor there. He, he and I somehow started talking. Hannah and I somehow started talking. And then I went live with Hannah one day to talk about animal communication. Um, after that... Somehow, some way, they must have watched a video of mine where I talk about a tarot reading where I do what they consider a third-party reading. Now, I don't consider it a third-party reading, and we'll get into that, and I will do videos on third-party reading. So if you're interested in that, go to the actual videos where I'm teaching and talking about that kind of stuff. Either which way, um, then I go to kind of their head leader page, if you will, uh, Megan and Lisa, and I made a comment. I was like, oh, that's how, that's right. That's how they found out about it. And I'm going to play the video after this in just a moment. If you don't want to watch the video, that's not a problem. You just fast forward. I will try to do timestamps, but we'll, we'll see how, what time allows. So I got a Megan Melissa's page, this page. And I was like, oh, dang, I don't agree with that. Not really thinking much of it. It wasn't a rude comment. It wasn't, I thought that's how you play the game on TikTok, right? So that was my first time being dragged and dragged right she was rude she called me unethical she basically just put me down there was no conversations she hadn't talked to me beforehand she had never actually interacted with me she had never had a reading by me um that kind of thing right well because megan and lisa didn't like me because then we kind of mentality is essentially victim blaming it's like if a stranger started going through my personal belongings without my permission, that wouldn't be okay with me. Do you see how that can be problematic? My energy is the same way. It's my energy. And within my energy or someone else's energy is basically everything that's ever happened to them that's stored in that energetic field. So going into someone's energy without permission is unethical, invasive, and rude. Also, there's an assumption of people somehow knowing they should protect their energy which we really can't assume because why would most people know that? So if someone goes into my energy without my permission, that's actually not my fault, but it's theirs. 
So if your medium, a psychic or a tarot reader, someone that's able to do this, it's actually your responsibility to understand that there's great responsibility that comes with this and the ethics that need to be involved in this work. Sometimes it feels like a cop out to not take responsibility and blame them. And honestly, it surprises me to see you write this because I know James M. Prague and I know Kim Griffin, who I believe you've studied with. And I know that neither one of them think it's okay to be unethical and in going into people's energy and ask for. And I personally wouldn't endorse or necessarily trust a medium to work with them that doesn't understand the ethics when it comes to consent, because it should be a part of your training if you're going to work with the public. And while there may not be a governing board making sure mediums and psychics are following ethics here in the United States, it doesn't mean that we shouldn't be following those ethics because what we should be doing by working with vulnerable people is having a standard for ethics because we want to help instead of harm them. And to your question around how this involves ego, if the information has not been asked for, but you're trying to give it anyway, then that is for yourself, which is for your ego. Is it can very much look like, oh, look what I can perceive and look how special I am and be able to do this, even though you never asked me for it. This kind of mentality is essentially victim blaming. All right. So as you can see, um, it's taken me hours to do this. I am so not technologically savvy. I have Windows and then an iPad and then an iPhone. And some shit I'm going to return to Best Buy because it didn't do me any good. So not only did she bring up the teachers that I was taught by that I basically just had in a random TikTok. So you had to go to my page, you had to listen to that TikTok, you had to write down who I was taught by and then reference them as if somehow just because you were taught by someone, you're supposed to emulate them to the nth degree. Otherwise, you're ethically a piece of shit. And so that's what she's implying here, in my opinion, right? Number one, just because I take a class from someone doesn't mean I have to emulate them. It doesn't mean that their ethics are my ethics. In fact, I prefer to use the term responsibility because we do have a responsibility to people. And in that responsibility, it actually includes reading all the energy of a situation, getting the whole story. Otherwise, it's just a one-sided story and if you have a one-sided story, it's like anybody who's ever been in a relationship with a narcissist knows if you listen to the narcissist, you're going to get a completely different story than if you listen to the person who was abused by the narcissist, right? And so it's very important, in my opinion, to read the entire energy of the situation, not the one person's idea. So that's a whole different thing that I'll put in my videos on what I believe or whatever. And I finally figured out, I think I'm allergic to coffee and that's why I can't breathe because I keep drinking coffee. Who knew? All right. So in this video, you can see her disdain. You can see her complete condescension. You can see her holier than thou. You can see the soapbox. You can see the gaslighting when she references teachers as if somehow I have to emulate uh, word for word what some teacher would do and how the hell does she know what these teachers think about this situation she didn't call them she didn't interview them there's no clips of their voices on this um, so she really doesn't know but she's pretending as if she does because it puts her on some sort of a, a soapbox I'm not sure how else to say it um, what she didn't know is that she kind of messed with the wrong gal because not only do I not agree, I think that she needs to be called out in the way that she has called out other people so she can quit acting like this towards people. I had just gotten there. I was an incredibly small creator. I think I had maybe 2,000 followers, maybe wow. max. Um, I think it was even before I had that many. And here she is just shutting me down. Let's shut this girl down. Let's get her off of here. And that's their goal. So if you dare to, how's that? Um, if you dare to not agree with someone like Megan Elisa or Matthew or, you know, Hannah or whatever, in my opinion, as my first amendment right to have an opinion, this is what they will do to you. And there were worse ones. There was a couple of worse ones um, before she blocked me, but unfortunately I didn't save those. And this one is still on and those aren't, but that's okay. Because to me, this one really shows who she is. 
because then we got into it because I was like, whoa, <laughs> whoa, is this how this works? All right, watch this. I do clap back. And I do. I do clap back. And that's literally how TikTok is set up. And this is where the toxic starts, right? This is where the negativity starts is when somebody claps at you, you clap back. Pretty soon you're going back and forth. Okay, so regardless, so she drugs me, she drags me, she brings my past teachers into it, like this whole nine yards, because I had had a, a TikTok about who I had learned from, classes I had taken, that kind of thing. Because I will tell you, and this will also be something that you will find videos on, the amount of people on TikTok who are not developed is frightening. I would call most of them, um, someone, I heard someone say one time there was 8.9 million psychics and or intuitive type people on TikTok. And I would not doubt that because probably half of that shouldn't be. They're not developed. They don't necessarily all do critique videos. And that's the thing. I, this is almost turning me into a skeptic and I do it. All right. So let's keep going. So I got dragged by Megan and Lisa. I dragged her back. I dragged Matt back. I was like, how, how rude. Then there was this guy, Psychic Sean. Also, I wasn't following him. He wasn't following me. I didn't even know who he was. He takes it and drags me, but he doesn't say my name because passive aggressive is kind of a thing on TikTok. It's really important that you be really passive aggressive and you don't, you know, call people out by name. And that's just not the way I operate. It's never going to be the way I operate. It's never been the way I operate. And I'm not going to start now. So Psychic Sean drags me, um, but I was blocked. So I couldn't reply. So I just let it go. After that, I got dragged by this guy called New Age Mythbuster, which I'll play a portion of that. And I didn't get honest and call it like it is. You definitely do have a beef with me. You contribute absolutely nothing to my page. All you do is spew your assumptions about me all over the comments. And the questions that you ask are asked in such a condescending way that if you are truly legitimately wanting me to expand on some of my videos, you just have zero people skills. I really don't care what you think about me or what you think about my content, and it's not my job to clear up any assumptions you have about me. But I do think you should look up the definition of internet troll. Let's just- I didn't get the best one that he did where he was even more rude because um, it got deleted. I guess he deleted it. I, I, I couldn't find it, so I, I guess I shouldn't say he deleted it. I don't know what happened to it. All right, so after that, I'm on my way. I'm building up. I can go live now. So I start to go live and I have people coming and going. I'm doing free tarot readings. And then within that, I kind of go back to my old notes. I go back to the things that I had learned. I go back to some of the old plans that I'd had because I'd put those aside to kind of concentrate on TikTok. And I pull out my old notes about being an energy reader and my old idea about writing a book about energy reading and, and putting it all together and not getting nickel and dimed with this class and that class and this class and this class. And I was like, That's, yeah, well, I forgot. So I trademarked energy reader. Well, then that started something else with another creator who I really didn't know, but I was following her because I found her content interesting. And she came at me saying, you can't do that. You can't trademark that. I was like, well, I did. So <laughs> I think you got bad intel and now you're mad at me for the, you know, you're mad at the wrong person. All right. So fast forward. Um, and I'm not going to play her stuff. She's actually, she's actually a, a, a kind person and her content gets stolen like all the time. And that's another thing on TikTok. Oh, I know. Let me go back to Megan, Lisa, Hannah and Matt. So they turn this into a big battle of the wills, if you will. And anyone that's following me is considered um, a spy or that they were feeding information. Hannah even, I'll play another one. She was blocked from my page because she would talk about me passive aggressively on lives. I mean, I heard this with my own ears, so I'm not 